Thank you very much, Russell, for being here with us. Thank you very much. And so, uh, as usual, uh, I would like to know first, uh, when did you begin to, to play drums? What uh, led you to this choice of playing drums? Well, apparently I was born playing drums. I, uh, <laughs> when I was a little baby, two years old, I was crawling around searching for vibrations. Yeah. And my father plays um, piano a little bit. Yeah. And when he used to tap his foot, I used to put my hand on to feel the rhythm. And then I, I used to get plastic bowls out with spoons and uh, when the records came on the radio I used to tap along to the melody lines yeah. um, and so my parents started me off at lessons when I was four um, and I was earning money when I was six playing in little clubs yeah. and then I was doing the shows in London like Jesus Christ Superstar and shows like that when I was 12. And um, I was doing really professional gigs as a child. Yeah. And when I left school, straight into doing music business. So I don't know any dif different, but playing the drums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you meet uh, the musician of Uriah, Uriah Heep? Um, well, what happened was I was doing loads of session stuff and bits and pieces in England. And I'd done quite a few uh, drum clinics. And uh, I got to know Trevor Boulder, the bass player, from a few drum clinics I did up near where he lives in Hull. And um, when uh, poor Lee's uh, health deteriorated, uh, it was exciting times for Uriah Heap because they had a new um, recording contract yeah. uh, that had an 18-month world tour. And they didn't feel as though Lee would survive it. So they had no alternative but to seek out a new drummer. And um, the management set up open auditions and yeah. Trevor knew me and struggled to get hold of me initially and eventually got hold of me and said, look, are you up, up for um, auditioning? I said, well, listen, you know, give me more details and uh, um, I'll, uh, I'll look at it and see what else is going on. I like the sound of it. I went out for the audition, 240 drummers. I got the audition and the rest is history. <laughs> you know, I'm a few albums down now. Yeah. Uh, fantastic yeah. last two albums, Wake the Sleeper and Into the Wild. The reviews have been fantastic. We've got new management. We're uh, um, opening up new countries throughout the, uh, uh, the world. 23 countries last year. We've gone yeah. back to wow. Australia. We've reopened uh, part of America, Japan, South Asia. It's exciting times for us. And the band's just going from strength to strength, which is fantastic. Yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, could you uh, explain the, the songwriting process in uh, Uriah Who does what? Well, the main songwriters have basically been Phil and Mick Box for many, many years. And Trevor seems to write on his own, um, mainly because he lives too far away from everybody else. Yeah. Um, and what's been working great recently is that they have a lot of ideas that come to the table. And then Uriah Heap as a band, especially with me in it now, <coughs> we're able to put our part of the jigsaw puzzle together. Yeah. Um, and because I, I'm so versatile, they can write anything now, you yeah. know. Um, poor Lee with his health deteriorating, they could only write more of a softer approach, but because I play very powerful and I play yeah. lots of different yeah. styles, um, it's enabled us to look at uh, the songwriting in a different format and try and bring it as modern as possible, still with the classic organ and the five vocals, which is what he's all about with the harmonies, Soft. but we could be more adventurous in our playing. And certainly looking into next year, we want to even incorporate perhaps a little bit more progressive stuff in okay. and get more of the musicality in because there's some great players in uh, Uriah Heap and we can musically be more interesting and so therefore give the people some more exciting stuff. Yeah. Uh, so uh, to play, to, to speak about the drums, of course, you, uh, you play NATO, NATO drums. Mm. Uh, could you explain your choice? Yep, I, this, I, I was uh, having a, a little bit of a predicament with my drum uh, situation and um, Marshall are only 20 minutes from our manager's house where we do a lot of rehearsing and recording. And they were interested in me seeing the, the, the kit. So it was up the road. I went up and I had a look at the kit. A fantastic people to deal with, which is very important. Um, I listened to the drums and was very, very surprised with the quality. Yeah. They've done their homework on the drums as well as the hardware, which is very important to a drummer. Yeah. Um, and I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, things, the process moved very quickly. The kit I'm using today is the kit they quickly made for me for a big tour I had. Um, so I'm using it today. It sounds very big, it's very very fat. The, the, uh, the, the, the pedals work as fast as my yeah. feet need to go, which yeah. is very important. Yeah. Yeah. I've had no hinge problems, no breakages, not one breakage. The cymbals stay where they stay. 
That's what I want. I want a, a, a drum kit that sounds good yeah. and hardware that lasts a, a tour because I'm very, of very uh, hard wearing drummer. Yeah. I hit hard, right. stamp on yeah, everything, yeah. and I need my equipment right. to portray the um, music I play. Right. Well, could, could you uh, speak about your plans at mid-terms or long-terms for, uh, for the band? Well, we're, we're still promoting our last album, Into the Wild. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, certainly for this year, again, we're out and about. We've just done France, we've just done some Czech Republic gigs, uh, some Finnish gig uh, festivals, these are, yeah. uh, in Holland as well. Um, the back end of this year, we've got Russia, Ukraine, South oh. Asia, Australia, Whoa. America, <laughs> South America. So we're busy, busy, busy. Yeah. And we're going to be doing another album because the record company Frontiers have been great with us. They love what we're doing. Um, they already put the money in for the budget for us to do another album. Yeah. So that means January we go in and we screw another album. And then we've got a whole new 18 month yeah, world tour being yeah. booked up to promote that album and beyond. <laughs> so at the moment, um, things with you are heap are on the up up because we've got a fantastic live show. We've always been very, very good live. Um, and people think, oh, you are heap, you know, classic rock band, they're very good, but perhaps they're a bit too old now. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, you need to listen to the band, <laughs> yeah. and they're going to be some serious people who are going to love what we've got to play today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. Cheers, Thank Thanks. you so much. Cheers. Thanks for your time. <laughs>